Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I created something for myself that I kind of needed because I could not fit all of my recycling inside my recycling uh, bin, which only gets picked up twice, once every two weeks. And as you can see, I have a lot of extra. Now, this is not normally how much I have in two weeks, but we had Christmas and a bunch of, I collected everything that we recycle. We like to recycle, we don't like to throw it away. So if we don't have space in the trash or the recycling, I put it aside for the next recycling, which it starts accumulating now. So what I did is I just made myself like a prototype to see if this works. It is a wooden, uh, it's a press, it's a trash press. So, and it's just made out of wood, very simple, very strong, supposedly, we'll see. Um, with a, this is like a car jack, you know? Um, this is pretty much what I use. I have two of them. This is one of uh, what I used, and it's just an oversized car jack. Um, typical car jack, of course, because not all car jacks are the same. But I think this came from a camper to stabilize the camper life because it needs a very long travel. And it, was per it works perfect in this scenario because it has a very long travel. I think this should push all the way up to this, up to here. Anyway, it's just plywood, corner it, so make sure it doesn't, because the barrel gets smaller. We're gonna try to attempt to get rid of all of my recycling. Um, by the way, I tried calling our DPW in, and um, yeah, you can get another can. You can't buy another can. You can't put another can out there. Kind of silly, uh, because it'd be awesome to recycle more. People would recycle more, because if they don't have any space in their recycling, guess what, they put it in their trash. Most people don't have that much trash versus recycling. Um, so let's see. We're gonna see if we can crush all of this. I have a big tubing over there. If we have space, we'll crush that thing too. So, let's check it out. Let's see how good this works. Okay. Put that there for now. Well, up, but we compress it. So let's just start stuffing everything in here. Now you do this, you would probably do this period. I would actually do this periodically. It fills up, I crush it, and then we can keep on filling it. Obviously I'm just doing this all at once. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Make some room. This is still on speed two, so I didn't have to actually put it at speed one to actually get it going. I wish this went higher, but actually I could do it higher. I should have done it higher because I can only go up to a certain point either way, but at least I'll have a bigger opening. So see, there's no point in making it all out of metal and realize you have to. What is fun? Oh. Alright, see now that cut out. So now we're putting it into speed one. So we're obviously compressing it to the point where they actually it's compressing pretty well in there. Give it one more go. Let's. Uh, this is gonna be on speed two again. We'll see where it stops. Stop the right around there. It's kinking it a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it up and uh, push it over to the right.
So we already compressed it up to here. Now, obviously, when we release, gas is kind of pushed back up, but uh, we'll see how much we get in here. So far as a prototype, I think this is doing very well. Number two. Well, that's where two goes down. It'll keep going. I really don't want to snap my bit. Is so powerful it literally snaps these bits. So as you can see, I already, uh, I already snapped it. <laughs> so, nice. Okay, we got a little bit. One thing I'm not sure of, is this all gonna come out when they dump it? Didn't think about that. Well guys, That's one heavy recycling bin. All I don't I don't know if you noticed this, but these three bins were full. In front of this, we had a whole pile of recycling. We had bags of recycling, those paper bags recycling here, and all these three bins filled, and we actually got it in there. <laughs> Believe it or not. Now we have this. Tell you the truth, I know it will fit. Because uh, just me standing on it, as you can see, we still have uh, like six inches. So the reason why I don't want to do that is our recyclers that pick up this thing, as you can see, it closes very nice. And if it is open, after a while, maybe this stuff will spring a little bit. <clears throat> I don't want it to be sticking out. But I really kind of do want to see if it actually would work. Ah, let's just see. Let's just see. Very close to closing. I mean, I can push it down, but it's actually going to be springing up. So, everything that we saw here, we actually put it in. I guess this does work pretty good. Could you make it better? Yes. Could you put two of these bad boys on it? Yes. Would this break? I don't know, maybe. Um, 
Did you make it out of metal? Did it really crush it in there? Yeah. Is it gonna come out? I don't know. <laughs> um, I kind of want to test it, but I don't want to put all that stuff back in. I think it will come out because it is pretty much like a cone and it is very, very heavy. So I'm pretty sure it's actually gonna come out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in there. Leave it under pressure. Leave it under pressure and uh, and then bring it out. Hopefully it stays. Here's that last little piece. So let's see if we get a mold. I mean, we pushed it in. This is where the bottom of the plate is right here. So it's up to here. So it does spring up because these are curved quarter inch pieces of, they're not even cardboard, it's like dense, dense material, a tubing, so it structurally holds the awning without bending. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this. If this is useful, you could probably make something like this. Obviously, I don't wanna be responsible for breaking your cans or anything. This is just something that I did, and I just thought that'd actually be pretty cool, so. If you like it, and it's useful, try to build it or see if, uh, I'd like to hear from you guys if there's an easier and a more effective way of doing it, even though this is scrap pieces of wood, some uh, you know bolts and uh, one jack. Obviously I need a drill and one big jack. So let me know if you guys have some easier concepts, you know, uh, I'd like to hear about them. I mean, you can write it in the comments, but so far it's under pressure. That's not Boeing. Didn't rip anything out. I'm gonna keep this in my garage. It's my shop, I'm gonna keep it in the garage. Every time we fill it up to the top, or up to the whatever, you know, overflowing to the top of the plate, we crunch it down, and then we have a lot more stuff to, to uh, put in. Because what I noticed is, uh, my wife fills it up, it's full and she rolls it out. And then all the rest of the, Recycling is sitting there for next time, but guess what? Next time it's always full again. Wow. Very nice. See you guys later.